Good evening, and welcome on in to the next edition, part two of today's From Day One. We'll hit our mailbag and everything else here in just one. Proverbial shake of a Jeffrey. Just had to make sure to get the scoreboard on the left hand side, sorry, right hand side updated. Today's Frauditor, Sovereign Citizen, First Amendment Auditors will begin with a report from a local CBS affiliate. Bringing in us into our first story, which will ride along with Father Skeptic. Tonight, a self-proclaimed activist is apologizing. I'm sorry for doing that. I'm apologizing. Who is that? I'm I don't care about your apology. You are under arrest. The video led to an internal investigation, which found that Deputy Jackson did nothing wrong. And now, as part of a deal with prosecutors, Reyes has written an apology letter to Deputy Jackson and will complete community service. Hey, guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be covering the arrest of Long Island Audit, we thought it was a good idea to obstruct a police officer during a traffic stop. So let's begin. Yep. Forty one five Ocean King. Another uh person's walking up on us now. Can I help you? Can I help you? You can back up, please. This is a You're on the grass, you moron! But it's always nice to see Long Island Frauds do what he does best harassing public officials while they're doing their job, and justifying his actions by outright lying. This is a traffic stop. You need to back up. This is a public side you can't walk up behind us. Side hey, listen. Back up. Listen, you don't know me. Don't back know you. up. You don't know me. I'm telling you to back up. Like you I'm telling you to back up. I don't care. Who do you think? Back up. Whether you care about him being a police officer or not is irrelevant. He gave you a lawful order, and you started arguing with him instead of doing what he said. Millions of people lost back up. You I'm telling you, yes, back up. You're gonna tase me? Yes, back I'm, up. I'm on a public sidewalk. Back up. I'm on a public sidewalk. This is a traffic stop. You do not belong I'm, here. I am far away. I have a right to film the police. This you can go over there. The You're court. interrupting. Me. No, I'm not. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. For well, what? I'm on a You're sidewalk, under arrest. Sir? You're under arrest for hindering. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Sir? Turn around and I'm put your hands behind your back. I'm telling you right now, bud. You weren't walking down the sidewalk like a normal person taking a stroll who just happened upon a traffic stop. No, you took a direct path across that field of grass straight towards the police officer because your intention was to disrupt that traffic stop in order to flex what you believe to be your first amendment rights to record the police but fortunately for me and my viewers you don't understand exactly what your first amendment rights are and what limitations they come with put your hands behind your back All right listen don't listen. reach in your pockets put your hands behind your back sir 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 i don't want i'm not interfering with anything sir sir I'm not interfering with anything. I'm on a sidewalk. You're under arrest. I told you. For what? Hindering. Sir, For being an asshole. Sidewalk. You can let go of this. I was on the sidewalk. You can sir. let go of this. Everything's being on individual recorded, okay? Sir. Okay. This is going to go in your pocket for the time sir, being. I'm on the sidewalk, sir. And, sir, listen to me. Listen to me. Can you open up a separate card for uh, hindering? And uh, mark 1095 here. For what? Sorry, I mean, sir. Being an Asshole. I'm on a sidewalk. This is a public sidewalk, sir. I'm allowed to walk on the sidewalk. I told you we're in the middle of a traffic But I'm walking on a sidewalk, sir. I'm walking on a public sidewalk. Can I speak to a sergeant? Yeah, they're coming. You're going to have a seat right here on the curb. Have a seat. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, can you hang with him? Let me finish this up up here. What's that? Sergeant coming, sir. Yeah, they're coming. Yeah, they're coming to laugh at you. Yeah, yeah, I know, but he's fine right here. You have your in car on? Yeah, the mic. The mic? Okay, well, I don't want him up here with this guy. Can, can, I, can I let you know something? Okay. I just want to let you know that what, what I do, what I do for, for a living, I'm a constitutional activist. Okay. And, I, and what I do is I film the police. Okay. No, you are an asshat, a dick flute, and a pop weasel. Who is about the only thing that might actually bring me out of today's rut that I'm in? But stop being those. I'm public 
publicly accessible areas. You can stand over there and film us from the front. You cannot walk up. Listen to me. I was walking Listen to me. I was, going, I was going that way. You didn't no, no, no. You walked up behind us, and when I told you to back up, you're telling me this is a sidewalk. No, you can't get because this I'm close. Walking down that way. When the, when the police are conducting an investigation. No, no, no. You don't understand. I do this for a living, sir. I don't. I, I, I really listen. Okay, but I explain. I'm explaining millions it to you. People, I just want okay. to tell you, millions of people see my video, sir. I'm telling you. I, you can look it up. It's called Long Island Audio. I'm from New York. It, it, it makes no difference to me about the videos. No, listen no, to me. No, I'm not saying. Do you want me? To... What exactly are you saying? Why else would someone bring up the number of views they get on their dumbass YouTube channel unless it was to intimidate the officer into letting them go to avoid embarrassment or harassment by their millions of viewers? I think it's about time he realizes that the average person doesn't give a shit about a YouTuber or the number of views that he has. Explain to you? Yes. Okay. Maryland and the Hartford County Sheriff's Office, which I am, a Hartford County Sheriff's Office deputy, okay? We will allow you to video. I don't care if you're standing over in the parking lot where I can see you, away from the traffic stop. But as soon as we do a traffic stop or any other type of investigation, we drop a bubble on the area that we're in. You're not walking up behind me. No, I wasn't trying. No, 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 no. You walked from over there to right here. You're not walking okay. up. Listen to me. Okay, listen. You're not going to get the full answer unless you just stop. I'm going to listen to you. You walked from that car over there, this direction, right behind my truck, to the back, to the back corner of my truck. That's right here. Okay? And I told you no. That's I, I said I back up. I wasn't, I wasn't okay, you don't want to listen. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and charge, okay? And then you come can on, you sir, can listen, I have No, it's not. Come on. You're you're under arrest. Sir. You're under arrest. Sir, don't listen to me. I have All right. That's what you want to do, sir. I mean, I, That's not what I want to do, but you didn't want to listen to me. You wanted to argue with me so, to the point where I had to man, take my taser out because you didn't want to stop approaching us. So listen. How about how about you let me go my way no. and we're not going nope. and we're not going You're going to jail. <laughs> yeah, you're past the let's let you go phase. <laughs> Thank you, Jonas. That's it. I'm not messing around with it, man. Because I believe in your rights. Listen to me. I believe I in your rights. for the Sir, I got sergeants, lieutenants who have my back. I got county officials in my I don't. I don't care. And sir, you're not going to walk up behind me like that. I didn't. I had no ill intent. You took my whole attention away from this stop over here. I'm sorry for doing that. But this is our business. Who, who, who is that guy right there? I'm apologizing. Who is that? I'm apologizing. I don't care about your apology. You are under arrest. I'm not saying that. I appreciate that you want to you want to talk about it now. No, you. But at the time, you're very confrontational. And it's taking my attention away from this gentleman over here, whom you know nothing about. I pulled my taser because you kept stepping at me, bud. Okay. We'll and my attention's over here. Okay. All right. Well, you may have short-term memory loss, but the body camera that the officer is wearing does not. And you can clearly see and hear him tell you to stop coming towards him, back up, and go to another location to film, as is your right. But you disregarded what he said, saying that you didn't care who he is, and kept going towards him until he pulled out his electric boogaloo. Okay, so the next part of the video is from a news conference in which the sheriff's office announced the conclusion of the Long Island audit investigation. On May 4th of this year, two of our deputies were conducting a traffic stop on Route 40 in Joppa when an individual who identifies himself as a constitutional activist purposefully and deliberately approached our deputies from behind and under the cover of darkness. A short 24-second clip of a cell phone video capturing the incident and arrest posted online by that individual generated public attention back in May. As sheriff, I responded publicly with our own body camera video of the encounter so the public could see the event in an unbiased and unedited manner. In my initial statement, I said we would conduct a thorough investigation into the incident, and that process has been ongoing since May 4th. In the meantime, the criminal case against the defendant in the courts has now concluded, with this defendant entering into an agreement with the state's attorney to avoid a criminal conviction through diversion. Aw, that's cute. Facing a basic misdemeanor hindering was enough to make Long Island audits fold faster than Russia's economy. As part of the agreement, this defendant will perform 10 hours of community service here in our county. He has apologized in a written letter to the involved deputy for his actions, admitted to the wrongfulness of his actions, and apologized to creating a situation that put the safety of individuals and police at risk. He has also withdrawn his formal complaint against the deputy. With the decision of the defendant to withdraw his complaint, this administrative investigation will now be closed. Although the defendant was not interviewed as of the complaint being withdrawn, I will offer that our Office of Professional Standards 
did not identify any violation of policy or law during the already completed work of the administrative investigation. To once again be clear, as your sheriff, I respect and value a citizen's First Amendment right, as do the members of this agency, but no one should believe this is the same as being able to say and do whatever you might want. I couldn't have put it better myself. You see, I'm all for freedom of speech and expression, and I deeply believe that we, the people, should be allowed to film public officials in the course of their duties. But I do not believe that it should give these jackasses, or anybody else for that matter, free reign to antagonize or harass police while they're doing their job as law enforcement officers. A minute ago I mentioned the line that the defendant crossed. Even though the formal letter of apology was just received, I have no doubt that even the defendant realized he was overstepping going back to the initial night. On May 4th, right after he was arrested, the defendant repeatedly apologized to the deputy for his actions and asked to be released. This was something that he did not share when he released his initial 24-second video. Hmm, I wonder why he didn't show his fans his apology. In a second video he released in early May, which utilized some of our body camera footage, once again, the defendant decided to omit his apology to our deputy. I can only assume, assume these actions were done so that his followers wouldn't see his apology for themselves, and sadly, this led to many hateful, threatening, and derogatory calls, emails, and messages being sent to our office and to the deputy himself. This, too, is something the individual also now apologizes for, for the collateral, collateral consequences that have impacted the deputy and his family for just doing his job. Exactly. Harassing a police officer for just doing their job is not and should never be acceptable in modern society. And to finish this video off, I will be reading off my interpretation of Long Island Audit's apology letter to the deputy that arrested him. Deputy Jackson, I would like to sincerely apologize for my dumbass actions on the night of May 5th, 2021. After carefully editing my videos, I now see that my actions were dumb as fuck. I want you to know that I'm telling you that I take full responsibility for those actions. I will never understand your reaction to my actions that night. I now realize that a traffic stop represents a safety concern for law enforcement and you have the responsibility to tase me if I get too close. I can see now that you didn't violate my First Amendment right as you offered me to film from a separate location nearby. I would also like to apologize for the harassment you and your family received from my actions. I can promise you that no matter how many times it happens, that is not my intention. I want you to know that I am a true believer in my version of our constitutional rights. I believe they should be abused every day. I can now see that if I wasn't a fraudatard, all this could have been avoided. I am a big believer in accountability and I accept that my choices were stupid. I tell myself that I do this to bridge the gap with the police, but my actions consistently do not reflect my delusions. I write this letter with the intention and hope that I may admit my fault, while also explaining why I shouldn't be blamed for my actions. I will never stop misunderstanding my constitutional rights, but going forward, I will do so in a way that does not make me look so bad. Lastly, I appreciate the fact that you were kind enough to not have me prosecuted. It shows that you are a bigger man than me. Sincerely, Jackass. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. <laughs> Sincerely, Jackass. Now, I believe you have something for us for tomorrow. Do you care to tell everyone about that? If you liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. Be sure to comment below, and don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss tomorrow's video that has this crazy Karen in it. Oh boy. Is that Cindy Falco? Oh, it is? <laughs> You're right, that should be fun then. That should extremely be fun. Look forward to that tomorrow.
Alright, while we're going through that real quickly, let me see what else we have available. So that one. Yeah, let's do that. Dumbest sovereign citizen arrested yet. Uh, Radical? Let's begin, shall we? Prepare yourself for some of the slowest people I've seen getting arrested. They even speak slower than bloody Pratt! That's slow. And I only have a bloody two times speed on the YouTube player. Hi there. Start here, Rourke. Yep. It's Officer Shaver. Okay. Officer Shaver. You two uh, both have warrants for your arrest. So. Yeah, well, it's all fine and dandy, but why don't these fine upstanding officers have sunglasses? No, ma'am. Hey. You're going to go back in the residence. No. You have a warrant for your arrest, okay? And uh, I'll show them to you, all right? These are teletype copies of the warrants for your arrest. That's okay. not a legal warrant? Yeah, this is a legal warrant. Just so you know, it document. doesn't have a okay. signature by a judge on this is, it. This is so a, legal that's not a legal document. Okay. So, um, you have somebody here to take care of your child? Because you both have warrants for your arrest. You do? Well, I want names, bonds. You want bonds? Oh, this is no time to talk about investments. Or do you mean bond? You're not in jail yet. That comes after. Yeah, do you have bonds? So I'm, trying to, well? I'm trying to work with you guys to try to do that. And That's what I'm trying to tell you, okay? I, I don't want to leave your child or anything like that. I want to make sure you have somebody to take care of your kid. Okay, so I'm just trying to work with you to make sure there's somebody here to take care of your child. And we need to make sure that you have bonds. And that you're, you no have bond. the jurisdiction. Okay. Okay. I do if, have the jurisdiction. I have, you guys have warrants for your arrest. Okay, so. but if you don't okay. have a bond, then you have no acting jurisdiction, to, okay. on, especially on my oh, property. No. I have a warrant for your arrest, which, which part of that is, uh, you know, hard to understand. I mean, should be easy to understand, right? Oh no, let's, uh, let's see this as some kind of marketplace. Maybe we can haggle. Which okay. gets posted. Well, you need to step out here, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. You need to step out here, ma'am. I need to make sure that you have bonds or you okay. have to Okay, you need to step out here, ma'am. And you also I'm not going to go. You're going to gonna be under arrest. You are under arrest, okay? You, I you, don't You consent. are under arrest and you're under arrest. So step out there we, with that officer, please. We don't consent. I understand you don't consent, no, but you are under arrest. You've got two warrants for your arrest. Must be quite frustrating for these kinds of people <laughs> where their magical words of I do not consent have no magical powers. Maybe that uh, YouTube University stuff isn't all it's cracked up to be, huh? You yeah, one out of Newburgh and one out of the city of Paloma. You have to provide okay. bonds. Yes, my mother okay. Of course. Yeah. So, yes, I'm placing here. Okay. Also, it just has to be mentioned, these people are not really interested in the safety of their own damn kid. The officer has asked them twice now, and they haven't answered yet if they have someone to take care of their kid. They just don't care, it seems. They are vastly more interested in their, you know, script that they downloaded off the internet, probably, which has never worked, but they continue to use. And you do have no jurisdiction, because you don't I have to I understand how you feel. I understand how you feel. I understand how you feel. I need to just step down there. No, you're not going to go in the house. No, she's I'm not. I'm not going in the house, okay. but I have every right to talk to my mother. I understand, ma'am. I understand, and tell but her. you're not going to go back in the house. I am not going back in the house. Hmm. Somehow I don't think these people understand that they are under arrest. Maybe, maybe someone should have told them that they're under arrest. Oh wait, there's a police officer standing in front of them who just did that. Maybe someone should tell the officer that they don't consent. What a stupid conversation. Okay. But I need you to no, step I'm down. No, I'm not going to step down. You there. haven't provided any I'm legitimacy. Not, I'm not, I'm not no bond, there. no office. I'm trying, I'm trying we to do not consent. Do you have a bond? Do you have a bond? Do you have insurance? Ma'am, if you want to talk to her, talk to her. If not, I'm going to put you in custody and you're going to go with me. Okay. Who's your insurance? Right, we need to turn around. Hold on. Come on, you need Hold to turn on. around. No. Stop, stop. No. You need to teach her to turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Oh, was that? Did I just came back for some resisting arrest? I mean, come on, lady, don't add additional charges to your... She's gonna add those additional charges, isn't she? Of course she is. What, what am I talking about? 
Where let me let talk to talk. my mother. Well, then talk. Quit, quit trying to argue with me and talk to her. I said you could. Okay? No. But you need you to step need down to here. I'm not going to step down there. Space. No, no, you're under arrest. Hey, Don't stop. touch you me. You are under arrest. You have no You are under arrest. No, no office. You are under arrest. Stop. Stop. Oh, stop. Don't, don't get me... additional charges, please. No, I, I just I just said that. I just said that. I don't think they're going to get additional charges because they're already, well, additionally stupid, I guess. They're still going on about the bond. Bill Bond versus warrants. Let me guess. I do not consent. I, it's I not additional yes, charges. Let you me are, talk to my arrest. mother. Yeah. Brittany, come up here, please. Oh, phew. For a minute there, I thought they were going to get it. Wait, that wasn't the officer talking, was it? So basically, it goes like this. I'm under arrest? Well, uh, let me tell you what I'm under arrest for. How does that even work? Hey. Let me talk to my mother. Okay, I, I, said, I said you could talk to your mother, but you, told, you kept telling me to step down. Grab this arm, please. You let are. I'm okay. you, you are. Ma'am, you are. Ma'am, stop. Let me. Please, set it down. Set the camera down, please. There, you can put her out on us and everything, okay? Yeah, there's a knife right here. Yeah, take care of that. Let go. Please. No bond, no please. office. No bond, no office. I do not taste next to I know you don't. Oh, for fuck's sake, you really said it again. I'm going to go set the door. You do not have a problem. Get off. There's no warrant, no arrest. Get off of me. Let go of her. They're still talking. They're still talking. Get off of me. There's no warrant. Well, actually, there is a warrant. Lady, did you see the warrant? Did you see the warrant? I mean, this stupidity is on the level of the flat earthers, but holy hell, why is this pissing me off more? You people are fucking thick. Thick. Yes. Right. Calm down, Tell. Get off. Yeah. No fun, no office. Why are you doing this? Get just, off of me! Just let her go. You We're have... not gonna let her go. She has a warrant for her arrest. I show me the warrant. Yes, I you show it. me you the warrant. I'm gonna warrant. put you on the ground if you do not stop. Show me and the if you do that, you will have serious. I am not trying to cause. She's causing all these problems. Hey, you're, you're here, here unlawfully. They just keep going. They're like soundboards. Do we have another? I do not consent. I'm gonna lose my shit if they're doing that. Unlawfully detaining my wife. We're manhandling her. Not her. Show me the warrant. Oh shit, officer. He's gonna tell his mother-in-law. You're in trouble now. And still, no concern for their kid. Or kids. I'm guessing kids. Show me the warrant. I showed you the warrant. Her name is Janine. I wanna see a sign warrant. Now. With a sworn affidavit. Hey, Jeff. Will you come witness this? Yeah, chef. Chef? Chef? I'm guessing Jeff. Now, if Jeff was a uh, smarty pants, <laughs> he wouldn't have anything to do with this. But yeah, knowing human nature, dumb tends to come together. So, do we have a neighborhood of Jeff? Man, I already feel sorry for Karen's. Now we gotta feel sorry for Jeff's as well? I guess let's just throw it in here. Jeff by behavior, not name. <laughs> you don't have a signed warrant with a sworn affidavit in support by a sign by a judge. Barely, she's disabled. She can walk. She can walk. She can walk. She can like, Geneva! Oh, great. So do you have a disabled grandma that is going to take care of the kids? Sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. I mean, I'm guessing the kids are well-behaved. Well, I guess I deserve that. Yes, you do. You guys are committing fraud, extortion. This is kidnapping. Freeze it. Rainbow. So they're committing fraud, treason, and ransom? They're committing ransom. They're committing ransom? Why do you people say things? Because they want you to take another face punch. That's the kid, by the way, Regal. You hear it. So, yeah, they're not really cared about the kid. Oh, well, they pull their thoughts at bullshit.
concerned hoping the dog's name is Peanut. Come on, baby. Maya! 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 Go in the house, baby. Maya! Now, the reason I left this part in is because I wanted to emphasize that these parents are no parents. They just had kids, and that's all they did. There was no concern for their children at all. The officers were ensured that they actually were with their grandma. But grandma went outside, started yelling at the neighbors, apparently. I cut out a lot of dead air there. Basically, the kids were running around panicking because their dad and mom were taken away by the bloody police. And it took grandma the greater part of four minutes to actually come back to the kids and take care of them. This is what happens when immature people have children. For fuck's sake, man, it just pisses me off. And on that, no future for these kids kind of note. Yeah, I know the feeling, Regical. Unfortunately, these two parents are an extreme case of stupid. And really, really extreme case of stupid. I've got other videos of them that they are even stupider, if it's that just a term, could be even a potential possibility. Let me see if we can find one more. You got one more good one for me? <sighs> Sorry about the yawn. And I'm just fighting. Not only the weather, but my just my body feelings today. It is just not working with me. Yeah, let's go with that one, can we? You ready, Radical? Go for it. So I guess this could be considered an intro video to tomorrow's video. Basically, I found this guy in the comment section somewhere talking about him popping his cherry throttling. Paraphrasing, of course. But hey. We don't kink shame around here. Once on his channel, I saw his channel trailer of him talking about law and having a rather peculiar interpretation of what law is and the legality of it all. Which in turn makes it rather interesting for tomorrow's video what he's gonna do for his first time frauditing with this kind of interpretation. I guess tomorrow's video would be a judgment on his frauditing style and, well, if he ticks all the boxes, huh? Alright, welcome to Freedom Unchained channel. I just wanted to do a really quick one for you guys about laws and legal the difference 
Um, government can't make laws, no matter what they say, no matter how they mm -hmm. change the definition of law. Oh, I see. So uh, there, there's no lawmaking going on in uh, Congress or something in any part of the world. I see. Are you indoctrinated people to? Uh... Oh, great! We got a word salad man over here. Indoctrinated people, huh? I wonder who he calls when someone breaks into his house or steals something from him or breaks some of his property. Ghostbusters. Also, as if there are laws in place to try and prevent that kind of thing. Weird. Be manipulated. But no matter what they say, no matter what they do, they cannot make a law. Laws only come from the universe, from God. God only makes laws. Whatever you want to say uh, God is, or the universe, or... What? What do you want from me? I think it's all rather boring already. But if I were to assume his religion is probably Christian, or one of those that uses the Bible, right? Uh, doesn't it say in the Bible, obey the laws of the land? Again. Weird. Or so on and so forth, but... Um, you can figure out this world using math, and you can figure out, you know, the basic idea of the laws, because you can't completely know what a law is, and only God, only the higher of highs, the all of knowing knows exactly. <laughs> I do love the slip of the tongue there. The highest of the highs? <laughs> I see. How high are you? For fuck's sake, man. We can't exactly know what a law is. It's almost as if there's uh, an entire set of people that are involved in making laws, upholding the laws. People like solicitors, uh, I mean lawyers, criminals, police, and of course people in Congress. Not to mention civilians as well, but you know, there's a certain part of our population who exactly know what laws are. I have this feeling you don't exactly know what laws are, for some unrelated reason, I'm sure. You know the face punch is coming. What a law truly is. Um, you might be able to connect with stores, connect with the uh, Kasha records or whatever you want to call them, and you might be able to figure out um, the closest to that law that any other soul or energy or being can actually understand what a law is, but um, not until you ascend through all the dimensions. What the hell are you on about, boy? I mean, <laughs> are we talking about laws in legislation, or are we talking about laws of science? Scientific laws, if you will. They, they are not the same. They are, you know, used for other purposes. What is this guy doing? Uh, become godlike, will you ever actually understand what a law truly is? Um, we can use mathematics and science and uh, so on and so forth. But only if you ascend to god status, huh? You have to become your own god to be a... Is it maybe possible that you just don't understand science? How come we're moving from legal law to scientific law? What are you doing? You guys doing my head in. To um, get to our closest understanding as humans to what a law is, like the law of gravity. That is an uh, expression of a law that Einstein... Really? Einstein? Was Edison? No, it's not, it's not Einstein. Try again. Edison? No, it's not Edison. <laughs> How about Sir Isaac Newton, you weirdo? I don't remember. I don't really care anyways. For fuck's sake, this guy! Ooh, ooh, let's talk about laws. I have no idea who the people, the lawmakers are. By the way, Einstein, Newton, Edison are not lawmakers. <laughs> They're scientists, you strange man. Well, one of those gentlemen um, expressed what they thought the law of gravity was, so they wrote down, you know, the law of gravity and blah, blah, blah. And, um... Well, that's a good thing they did, isn't it? I mean, uh, if they didn't, we would all be floating off this flat earth. This is uh, bringing back memories, and it's all your fault. Yeah, don't give me that look. You know what you did. Mathematics, you can use mathematics to express what the closest you believe um, a law could be. Like E equals MC squared. Um, I hear uh, it's not correct 100% or... There's some things about that, so uh, it's expressing an idea of a law. Hey, you, you want to know something that's going to blow your mind? Science doesn't set out to prove things. It's actually setting out to disprove things. So yeah, E is MC squared is not an exact formula with the current knowledge we have, because we have better technology. Quantum physics wants to have a word with E is MC squared, but it works for now, and it is the best option we have for, you know... Producing energy! Or blowing up shit. Yeah, you can do either with that one. But the thing about the law of gravity, it also works for what we use it for. Even though it is not an exact, detailed description of what gravity is. Because currently, we don't really know what gravity is. We only know the effects of gravity. And we can calculate some pretty amazing, accurate models with it. 
Would you believe that Neptune is not a discovery through observation? It wasn't, well, technically it's an observation using math. But yeah, it was discovered using math and orbital mechanics. Science tends to use the best current method we have. And then improve upon that. Wait, what What are we doing here? Are we getting completely sidetracked? What does this have to do with Florida Day? I'm, so I usually do these videos by watching the first two minutes, right? If the video is on the longer side. So I am actually curious how he's going to implement this in his Florida thing. The first time, that is. But no man can actually create anything into the universe. They can take other elements and they can combine them and they can make manifest other things, but they don't make laws. They can't change anything. So when a government says that we're going to, you know, write a law down and you're going to have to obey it, um, you're just an indoctrinated idiot if you listen to that bullshit. And it's called legal. So uh, I could just walk up into your house and steal your television and you couldn't do anything about it because, you know, the law saying that I cannot do that is not legal because it hasn't been sanctioned by uh, God, I guess. What the hell is he confusing legal with science? What, what is even going on here? This is, this is so dumb. Yes. Using the word indoctrinated. Hey, it sounds like you're indoctrinated by the law of stupidity. Graduating from the YouTube University of Dipshittery. A true dick fruit cum laude. With honors. <laughs> oh, the wrong cum laude. I like that one. They, they write things down. They call it policy procedure. It's uh, legal. Not lawful. So stop buying into these propagandists, these criminal government organizations, the indoctrination camps, so on and so forth. Criminal by which law? <laughs> Are you just making up laws now to account for the laws? Also, I know someone else who always keeps saying, and so on and so forth. That is a phrase that has no meaning, because you don't know what to say next, and then you're gonna do this particular phrase, so you sound smorter? Is that the thing? You're gonna go for smorter? Smorter is not a good thing. You notice the uh, emphasis on the R, and the U. You are not as smart as you think you are. And I look forward to catching up with you next week and letting you know how it goes, and also telling you a little bit about the rulers of our world and how they operate within the karmic mechanisms of this world, the mother. I want to speak of the devil, Miss Inanna Snow. The hell back to the dungeon, you're not allowed outside, being a jester and all. I hope that you have a wonderful week. May God and the goddess bless you. Yeah, about that. Last time you shot me with a shotgun. I wasn't impressed, but still, you being nice is suspicious. I bet she's up to something. Scheming. What are you doing? This is it. Yeah, Inanna also anything? has a rather strange uh, interpretation of the people in charge. Yours goes into the Wiccan part, and yours goes into the Christian part. Are you, are you gonna compete with her for the strangeness of this interpretation? Oh dear. Well, let's, uh, let's listen to the rest of your video then, shall we? When they start talking about laws, and you're breaking certain laws, when in truth, you're just breaking their policies, and their procedures, and their legislation. Not their laws. They can't make laws. So, um, I just kind of wanted to get that out there. If you guys like my uh, content, you know, this kind of... Well, go on then. Use your wordy bits. Not that hard. You put words together and, well, in case of your wordy bits, <laughs> you don't know what words are. You don't know what law... A law is a law. It is not a policy. It is a Why is it these kind of people seem to be into the art of dipshittery called the definition game? That is such a dumb game to play. It gets you nowhere, it kills the discussion, and here we are. Expression of truth. You guys want to learn more about law, what law actually is. You betray the law! Law! And the practice of law, because, um... What people think court is, I'll have to break that one down too for people, because people don't know what a court is, they think it's a building funny building people go in and uh they get uh turned over to the government for their punishment for their crimes that they committed you know of the laws of the government no all right so most crimes that the government says are crimes aren't crimes crime is only do you cause harm injury loss to somebody um or you attempt attempt to do one of those things um Imagine stringing, well, trying to string together a sentence like that and not even coming to the conclusion that you just justified the laws that are in place to judge criminals for their actions. How do you function?
Yeah, that's a... But yeah, yeah, we'll get off track there. If you guys like the to learn how to be free, please subscribe to the channel. Please comment on this video. Uh, let's get the conversation started. Also, uh, hit a like button. You can, if you're a troll, you can hit the down button. Go for it. Love me, my trolls. You always sharpen my sword. My words. And um, share this video. If the words are your sword, man, you're in trouble. Video around. If you need to teach people what law actually is. Uh, get them out of their indoctrinated minds um, thinking whatever the government writes down is a law, which is not true. We already just covered that. So let me stop my ranting. And like always, I'm going to leave you guys in a lot of light when it's your trigger. Peace. Well, all I have to say, buddy, is you better impress me tomorrow with your frauditing, first time frauditing, that is. There were a lot of flashy lights in there, so it's going to be shiny. And I reckon you know where we're going next. Remember to take the bell on all. So I'm assuming you have that video then? Of the idiot being, well, an idiot? We like idiots. Oh, we definitely like idiots on this channel. Yeah, it's probably the only thing that's going to make me be over, you know. Ah! So there's the idiot. Let's go. Idiot. First of all, here's an epilepsy warning, because there's a lot of flashing lights in this video. If you do have tendencies for seizures or epilepsy, make sure to turn down the brightness of your screen. What's all this about? Well, it's a new frauditor that is, uh, well, in his own words, popped his cherry frauditing. And if you've seen the video from yesterday, he has a rather out-of-this-world interpretation of what laws are. Woo, I popped my cherry! Finally, I got my first, uh, cop watch, audit, whatever you want to call it. Well, lucky for you, we don't kink shim around here. And the term you're looking for is frauditing. Uh, it's all a cop flying by to pull some of them, so I figured I'd take Zaya, threw her on a leash, and we walk and got a little catch. In case you're wondering who Zaya is, it's his dog. He took his bloody dog to a frauded situation. For fuck's sake, man. Are you dense? If you do do this, don't get a dog involved, you utter dick flute. Well, there's some action here. It was a fun time, as you can see. First Still racing. It was a while ago. Not a while ago, but probably over an hour ago. <laughs> Can we get on with the fraud thing already? I mean, also, that is adrenaline you're feeling. Never felt it in your life, did ya? Usually that goes away after a few minutes, but in your case it lasts for an hour. And uh, as you can see in the video, here in the video, I stumble over some words, and uh, my voice, you know, can't speak my words clearly. I always have a problem, already have a problem with that, but it doesn't help when you're, uh, Blood of armed gang members. <laughs> Get off it. No, I'm good. I'm just, I'm just wondering, why did you take your dog? I mean, you saw the situation and you saw an opportunity, right? But do you really think this is a safe situation to get your dog involved? I mean, at some point you got a brain and you're already refusing to brain. Just like yesterday. Or in other words, I don't have faith in you trying to brain. Fast forwarding because of all this good quality dead air content. Oh my god, how much fucking dead air. I see you got your dead air training from the professional frauditors. You know, it's, it's, at some point we gotta know what's going on, and we don't know what's going on. And I'm pretty sure at the end of the video you're gonna draw some conclusions of which you have no idea. FYI, that was over three and a half minutes at 20 times speed. I'm right here, I'm good. I'm comfortable right here. I'm not obstructing anything. So yes, you are. You were doing good for a second here. Thank you. 
only like you to spend Okay. I understand what you'd like. But this is why we're here. This is why I'm here. To be an right, asshole? As usual, we are dealing with amazing audio quality. In case you didn't hear, the officer wants him to either record in front of the two cars or behind his car, so he's not next to the traffic stop. You know, he can still film. He's not telling him not to film, but of course, he, he needs to do the antagonizing thing, right? That's what fraudsters do, after all. He's already breaking rule number one. Do not become part of the story. So you can observe, that's fine. Okay. You can observe. So what was wrong with me being right in front of your car? He's not eating five minutes or something. Never mind. For my safety, I don't know you. I have to pay attention okay. to this. Would you like me to go in front of your car? Either in front of my his car. Yes. Then I can't observe you. Observe you. You can observe. Hey, I need you to go that way. But I don't want you in my blind spot when I'm trying to run his license. All right, I'll stop just for yours right here. Yeah. So I either need you to be in mine. Okay. Go ahead. I'll be right here. You can see me. Just for yours. Thank you. Yeah. Because we don't want you to be scared. I'm not scared. I just divided attention. I understand. Okay. No, you don't understand. You're an idiot. I understand. Are you taking me away from I, uh, I'm not taking you away from anything, but go ahead, continue. So now we have this guy whining about him not being able to observe when he can simply observe from here or in front of the traffic stop. It's not the officer's fault you have crappy camera equipment and audio equipment. And yeah, I know, you guys always want to record everything, including the dead air. But if the dead air is all kinds of wind noises and we can't even make out what's being said, it is rather useless, right? So get a better camera, get a better microphone, and you might not have to get so close to pick up what's being said. Not to mention the officer doesn't want to divide his attention between you and the guy he's pulled over, which is exactly what's happening with you constantly walking back and forth in his blind spot. How come this basic shit is so hard to understand for you lot? Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. And the idiot's walking back forward again. Yeah, we get an officer. Like an asshole. I'm in front of your car. What's that? I'm in front of your vehicle. Between our stop, you're I'm no, I'm not obstructing. Yes. I'm not obstructing. You are. It's my best position right here. I'm safe. It is not just your safety that is the concern here. Personally, I'm more worried about your dog being safe. But it is quite clear. You, you have. You have to stand behind this police car or in front of the traffic stop, not in between. And this is exactly where you went, huh? You antagonistic little bastard, you. Oh, look at that. You broke rule number two, trying to cop bait. Good job. I want to pull the sidewalk, you guys. I'm you safe, okay? I'm not obstructing. But whatever you guys want to say, I'm not obstructing you guys, okay? If we have to come up and deal with it. Yeah, sir. For the moment. I'm going to get him out of here in a minute, but I got this one, okay? Right. Just a minute, okay? Right. I got Thanks. these two. My partner, this is the way that we want you to do it, okay? If something goes bad, I am a far distance from you guys. It's my my right to be where I'm standing, and if I get in harm's way, then it's my right to be in harm's way. That's fine. I don't need you guys to keep me out of harm's way. That's a job. Mm, your job is a lot of different things, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm a grown adult. I can make decisions of what is harmful or not harmful. Grown adult, huh? So grown adults go around doing recordings like this and acting like a little childish brat. You know, just uh, trying to poke the officers in such a way that they, you know, have some kind of reaction to you. I mean, you're a budding predator. That, that's not something to be proud of. 
But we all see right through you, buddy. You're, you're just going down the list of frauditing points. You're very, very transparent. You couldn't just go finish your job with him and then we, no, wouldn't, be, we wouldn't, wouldn't be in this way. business. I'm not taking you away from anything. Am I forcing you to do anything, officer? No, but I've okay. asked you to I'm not. stand more in front of my car so I can see you. You can see me right here. You, I was right, you said in front of your car so you can see me. No, I'm not. Just pass him by? Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to have my partner stand right here with you. That's, you can have him do whatever you wish. Yeah. Well, whatever, whatever makes you feel more, that's fine. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable. I'm gonna get him out. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable. I'm not stopping you. Yeah, that's true. You're not stopping them, but you are hindering them. You're just being a nuisance now. Kind of like all frauditors, you know, wasting police time. I'm just, I'm just wondering what made you want to try this nonsense. I mean, did you see a video and thought, hey, that, uh, that seems like something I want to do, being useless? But damn it, Carl, what, what are, what are you doing? I know what you're doing. Hey, don't you walk away from me. Hey, Mr. Frauditor Man, you're filming the wrong car. You're supposed to film the traffic stop situation, not the police. What kind of dick food are we dealing with here? I mean, it's obvious he's just trying this for the first time and he has no idea what he's doing. Not to mention, we still don't know what's going on. It's a traffic stop situation. Why? We don't know. Also, it's none of our business. Kind of defeats the purpose of being a frauditor, huh? <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake, did he do what I think he did? Of course yes. he did. Why did he even ask the question? That'll be a problem for you, not for me, but okay. I'm on a public sidewalk, you guys don't understand? I'm not in the middle of your shark stop, this is called a public sidewalk. Your truck stop is in, obviously, in the road. What is this world coming to that we have a generation of these kind of people? I'm guessing these are the kind of people who never heard no from their mommy or daddy and always got their way. You know, they, they didn't learn any manners, they didn't learn any morals, they didn't learn anything. And anything they wanted to have done, they just started whining and crying and, well, this is the result. Frauditors, sovereign citizens, Karens. We need to fix this pathetic shit. Are you guys' uh, names and badge numbers since you contact me? 898. Name or info. Alright, thank you guys. What's your name? I don't need to. Okay, just ask you. Alright, sounds good. Anything else you want to talk about? No. I'm done with him now. Let's go sit and talk. Nah, I don't need to talk. Maybe another day. Okay. I'm busy tonight, but, you know. I would love to have a conversation with you guys another day. Sure. Alright, have a good one. You don't have time today, but you do have time for this. You guard the, the logic is not there. There is no logic here. Just dipshittery. Off the chart dipshittery. Like I always say, why do you people exist? There is no reason for this kind of behavior. It's just childishness. Grow the fuck up. Alright, cow, what the- I know what you're trying to do. You're taking the piss, cow. And you can back here when I'm talking to you. For fuck's sake. Alright, how do you guys think I did? I think I did alright for the first uh, time. Well, Freedom Unchained, it seems you've left no impression on Radical at all. So yeah, you want to know how you did? Well, as expected, you broke Radical's two rules, as in do not get involved, which you did by childishly walking back and forth, which broke rule number two to try and antagonize the police. Good job on becoming a non-productive member of society. Anyway, I'm also done here. So, I guess remember to tickle the bell and all things around it. Have a look at Radical plays when he does stuff over there. Emphasis on when. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Radical, how dare you make me do work and shit. Thank you.
Google Girl for finishing that clip. And with that, we will bring part two today to a close. Like, share, and subscribe. Get us to those goals of 50,000 views, 1,000 subscribers, so box you over next week will send us those nice red packages. And Google will just actually give us the time of day. Coinbase and Abada below, fill them out, get your freebies, and then do the other items to get bonus freebies. Till next time, of course, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Be kind to one another. It's always a great new world to release the Krakens. And we'll see each other next time in the overnight. Oh. Mm. Sorry for more talk of demonology as we continue here from day one. Have a great evening, everybody.